After a flight is completed, a pilot must tie down the aircraft properly to ensure that it is secure and will not move if storms or high winds occur. The pilot first ensures that the aircraft is positioned properly in the parking spot prior to starting to tie it down. Next, they secure the nose tie-down strap by hooking the strap to the nose tie-down ring on the aircraft and the D-ring on the ramp. The D-ring should be behind the nose wheel of the aircraft prior to tying down. If this is not the case, the pilot must reposition the aircraft. The pilot then pulls the nose tie-down strap as tight as possible. The nose tie-down may have some slack in it, which is fine, as this will be removed when the tail tie-down is secured. Next, the pilot ties down the wings. They should use a series of three knots, known as taut line half hitch knots. First, the pilot takes the wing tie-down rope and feeds it through the top of the wing tie-down ring. Next, they should pull the rope taut and make a half hitch knot by wrapping the tag end of the rope around the rope coming from the ground and feeding the rope between the two lines one time. The pilot then does another half hitch knot further down the rope. It is okay if the rope is not very tight at this step. The final knot is the one that will lock the rope in place. The pilot wraps the tag end of the rope around the part of the rope coming from the ground like the first two knots. But unlike the first two knots, the pilot wraps the tag end of the rope around the rope attached to the ground. The second loop must go underneath the first wrap. This creates a locking knot that will secure the rope and prevent it from untying or becoming loose. The pilot then pulls on the tag end to secure the final knot. To tighten the wing tie down, the pilot starts with the highest half hitch knot and pulls on the side of the rope that passes through the wing tie down loop. They then do the same to the next half hitch below. Finally, they pull the locking hitch knot tight. This process is done until the wing tie down is tight with no slack. The same is done to the other wing tie down before moving on to the tail tie down. When tying the tail down, the pilot should feed the rope through the tail tie down ring and pull on the tag end bringing the tail of the aircraft towards the ground, which removes any slack in the nose tie down strap. The pilot then does the same taut line half hitch knot they did on the wing tie downs. If the tail tie down is too short to do the three knot series, a single half hitch knot followed by a locking hitch knot is acceptable. The pilot should then remove the slack in the tail tie down by pulling on the side of the rope that is passed through the tail tie down loop and then do the same to the locking hitch knot. This process is done until the tail tie down is tight with no slack. The pilot should then check all the tie downs to ensure they are tight, disengage the parking brake, remove all personal belongings and trash from the cockpit, and lock the door. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.